my dear Sagittarius and thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for um, supporting me on Vimeo. Just thank you all for being a part of my amazing spiritual journey. It would not be the same without you and you make an impact on my life each and every day. So thank you. Um, without you, what I do would not be, um, would not be possible. My, um, what I feel is my soul's purpose would not, uh, have much purpose without you. So I just wanted to take the time to thank you, um, each and every one of you. So, okay. So when I came out of meditation tonight, my body was covered head to toe chills. Um, I got such strong strong messages for you guys in um my channel meditation uh tonight that like my like I could not wait to get on here and do um your channeled message so um I don't even know where to start like it was crazy um well first I'll start by um if you are a Sagittarius sun moon rising Venus Jupiter then this message is for you. Um, not everything may resonate, but um, something, if you were drawn to watch this, something is here for you. You are meant to watch this video. So um, when meditating and opening my channel up for messages from the divine, I got two numbers for you guys. Um, number two and number 11, which in numerology, you know, number 11 would usually break down to two, but it's a master number, so it stays 11. But it sometimes holds the property of two. So, um, I got so many messages just on this alone. Um, for one, 11 is the root of all master numbers. So, um, when it showed it to me in this way, um, the way I uh, seen it, it is telling me that it is time to um, put your... Put your roots in the ground, stand firm, stand strong in what you believe in, and know that you are meant to be a leader or a teacher um, if you have a master number of 11. If you don't have a master number of 11, that's okay too because this message is still for you because you're coming to completions. Um, you're reaching a higher level of, in, of uh, intuition. Your spiritual insight is becoming super strong in September as well as receiving a lot of major downloads. Your psychic abilities are increasing. Um, you're increasing sensitivity. Uh, this could be coming out in skin issues, like skin sensitivities, um, sensitive, sensitivity to light through your eyes, um, and sensitivity to your ears. So um, loud noises are really bothering you. Your ears are ringing all the time. Uh, you know, bright light is just, it kills your eyes. Um, your eyes are sore, like behind them. You're getting skin rashes, uh, especially around the heart and throat chakra. Um, it could be coming out, you know, all over your body. However, those are the two that are very strong that I'm seeing. Um, as well as like, it almost looks like maybe, uh, what is that? Eczema? Is that with the little tiny bumps? like eczema or heat rash, it kind of looks like, or um, like psoriasis uh, on your legs. This is your part of this transition, part of this ascension. Um, so sensitivities are really increasing, as well as sensitivities as far as emotions like empathy, um, uh, power and balance between the mental and the physical. Um, just really awakening really really coming alive um coming in like it's like you're plugging into the universe in a massive way so exciting um i also got two that is to stay optimistic and hold on to your vision even through the tough times um so if you have a vision of your spiritual path if you have a vision of your soul's purpose, if you have a vision of how you want your life to be just in general, hold on to it even through the tough times because it is like the, uh, it's law of attraction. If you put it out there, the universe has to re uh, return it. Duality, you know, balance. Um, 
but you must believe it. You must believe you deserve it and it will come in for you. Stay strong and hold on to your truth. Because I promise you, it will come back to you in one form or another. You have to be open to receiving, however, because it may not come back in the form you want, but it's going to come back in the form you need. Um, so be open to receiving most definitely. And that as well, um, being open to receiving is going to uh, increase your connection as well. If you're going to be like plugged in um, in September. Amazing, amazing energy. Um, okay, I have to breathe for a minute. I'm going to switch focus a little bit here. So... I also seen, you know, the moon trans, uh, transitioning into Virgo. Super important time to set your boundaries. I got that in the daily reading today as well. It's time to set your boundaries. Let go of any situations in your life that brought you to a place where uh, you felt like you were sacrificing what you believe your values sacrifice what you truly believe that you deserve in a relationship um if they were not giving equally let it go um set your boundaries and do not do not cave in do not crumble do not um stay strong even in tough times um you're you're setting boundaries and you're releasing stagnancy you are moving forward. And um, I'll tell you why. So the way I seen it in my meditation was, you know, Jupiter's just went direct in uh, its home sign of Sagittarius. Jupiter is a 12-year cycle around. Um, it takes to orbit around about approximately a year in each sign. So with it going direct in the end of August, um, we are starting 12 year cycles. So if you're from the age of 32 to 44, you're starting a new cycle. Um, and if you are in between those ages, you are transitioning and letting go of whatever was holding you back. You will release something in September with Jupiter going retrograde because you're going to start a new cycle. You're letting go of anything that held you back, anything that kept you stagnant, anyone who kept you waiting. You're releasing that. For some of you, you are releasing somebody that you thought was a soulmate, a twin flame, a divine partner. By you releasing that and starting this new cycle in your 12 years, you know, cycle, it's actually going to bring you back what you released in the true form. So say you thought this person was your soulmate. They put you in a third party. You've been waiting three years. They've just been breadcrumbing you. You're done, done, done. Like no longer putting up with it. You, they pissed you off for the last time. They blocked you for the last time. They not responding to you for the last time. They lied to you for the last time. You're done. You're going to release that. And by you releasing that and moving forward, that 12 year cycle is bringing you in a new beginning and an actual soulmate is coming in for you beautiful energy um if you're uh, in between the age of 44 and 56 you're also starting a 12-year cycle and what you are doing is um you're realizing there's no time to hold back there's no time to waste um you're going for it uh if the opportunity arises, you're taking that leap of faith. If the universe brings you in something, you're going to give it a go. You're going to try it because we're shifting. We're shifting our energy and you're realizing that for far too long, you uh, did things by other people's watch. Like, you know, they you did it on their time. You, you know, you held back. You didn't take chances because of what other people thought, what other th people wanted you to do. No longer. You are... You are taking risks. You're taking those leap of faiths. And the universe is bringing in new energy for you. We're all transitioning into a new earth. Um, and you're starting to find faith in the process. And by you finding faith in the process, the process is bringing you back something to be faithful for. You know, like bringing you back, you know, the love of self, the confidence. Um, and it's also bringing you in uh, true life partners. Um, who you're meant to spend 
the time, the rest of your time, however long that may be, 60 years, 20 years, 10, whatever, um, they are bringing you in people who um, are meant to bring you happiness, love, joy, but only after you put that in to yourself. And that's what you're doing with the start of this new cycle. You're having faith in yourself. You're taking those leaps of faith. You're having love for self. You're loving yourself enough to put yourself out there because you do deserve it. Um, and you're starting this new cycle as well. Life partners coming in for you. You're starting that cycle in September. Um, within the next couple months, by January, those new people are coming in for you. But it starts in September with the start of this new cycle. Actually, it starts in the end of August. So I am going to put this out a little bit early. It is the 22nd of August. Um, so I am going to put this out because it is starting now. You know, Jupiter just went direct. And uh, and now is when these cycles are starting. For a lot of you Sagittarius, November is going to be huge. You have something coming in for you that is going to be a new beginning like true like closing the chapter to the old um some of you have divorces going final in november um some of them have been going on for months um finally released finally starting over starting new starting a new chapter burning that old damn book and starting a whole new one like huge things are coming for you sagittarius in november november december and january for sagittarius uh with you know the the eclipses, the, um, you know, Jupiter being in its home sign until December 19th, I believe. Um, holy shit. Big, big, big opportunities, big situations. Just, it's going to change. Not only that, we're shifting into this energy of the new earth. Uh, the light workers are rising up, bringing light to the new world, uh, raising the vibration. And Sagittarius, as you are at the head of that helm, um, you know, helping that, um, become a reality. Um, for some of you, it's time to go forward with or without somebody that you have been waiting on. Um, this could, doesn't have to be a lover for some of you. It is for some of you. It's, you know, waiting for that, you know, well, I really want to do that for a living, but maybe after November when, you know, my 401k, or my Ipers or whatever, you know, you like you keep putting it off. No, it's time to go, go with or without whoever, um, because the universe is supporting you and this is your calling and you got a job to do. So you are being called in September. Um, and if that resonates with you, you will know it in September because you're going to hear that wake up call loud and clear. Um, sorry, excuse me drive me nuts um you're gonna hear your wake-up call loud and clear and you're you're stepping out you're stepping in to that new vibration that new opportunity and it's gonna pay off big for you for some of you you guys are dealing with a twin flame situation we know that the waves are here as i said we're moving into this new energy um some of you have this just inner feeling like you should have been in connection already. You should have been in union. You should have been in union months ago, weeks ago, days ago. Um, and you should have. Uh, for some reason, you are being held up by the other twin not doing what they were, what they came here for, holding up the situation. But um, for a lot of you, we're having the next wave coming in um, in the time of November. Uh, in the time of Scorpio. So late October, early November is when this next wave was coming. Um, and it's like do or die time. Some of you are moving forward and you're going to move on without them. Um, you are leaving them behind because they're not stepping into their vibration. They're not stepping into what they came here to do. And you're being called to move forward and start the work. Um, because when that new wave, that next wave comes in, you, it's like get out of the way kind of thing like um, you had your opportunity to align you aligned within yourself um, and they didn't uh, and it, it is going on both sides uh, some of you Sagittarius is you're not the one aligning 
but um, I see you still sitting there waiting. The Sagittarius is that feel that they are ready to align and where's their person? Like it should, like you feel it internally. It should have happened like uh, May, June, July, August, and it's still not here. Um, you're, I see a, the majority.